Dahil tapos na kayo sa lesson 2, we're going to move on to lesson 3. Last time, ang ginawa ninyo ay mga additional activities. And then, you check your answer using the answer key. For today, you're going to classify useful and harmful materials at home, in school, and community. There are different types of materials that we have at home. Some are useful, some are harmful. Materials of different types are very important to organize and group them according to their use. All useful materials should be separated from harmful materials. Harmful materials should carefully be labeled and be kept at a place where they could not be easily reached by children. Napaka-importante na paghiwalayin ang harmful materials at useful materials. At dapat daw ang harmful materials ay mayroong label. Kasi minsan, kapag walang label, napapagkamalan na ibang bagay. Yung iba, nalalason, akala nila, asukal yung nakalagay sa garapon kasi wala namang label, eh mukhang asukal. Yun pala, chemical yun. At pag inilagay sa kape, yung iinom, mamamatay. So, kailangan nakahiwalay ang harmful materials sa useful materials at dapat may label, may nakasulat kung ano ba yung material na yun. Kailangan din yung materials ay nandun sa isang lugar na hindi maaabot ng mga bata. Kaya sabi dito, kept in a place where Children cannot easily reach it. So, hindi madaling abutin ng bata. Kasi nga, harmful. Pwedeng maka-disgrasya. Pwedeng magkaroon ng masamang epekto sa mga tao, lalo na sa mga bata. Look around your house and list down all the materials that are used. Ask your mother what these materials are for. Record your answer below. So, ang gagawin nyo dito, tingin kayo sa inyong bahay at ilista ninyo ang mga materials na nagagamit sa bahay. Pwede kayo magtanong, Sa mother, kung walang mother, kahit sinong tao na nandyan sa bahay ninyo, pwede nyo silang tanungin kung para saan yung mga materials na nakikita ninyo sa bahay. So, sa first column, ililista nyo yung materials. Sa second column, ililista yung uses. Halimbawa, number one, nakita nyo yung material, yung sugar. What is the use of sugar? It's for sweetening beverages. It's for adding flavor to some dishes. So, yun ang pwede nyo ilagay. Halimbawa, nakita nyo materials. Shampoo. Sulat nyo number 2, shampoo. Ano ang uses ng shampoo? It is used to Easily clean the hair. It is also used with water. So that is what you're going to do with what's new. When you're done with what's new, you're going to move on to what is it. Okay, you answer what's new first. After you answer it, then you go back to the next video so that you will know how to do this 
next part well actually in what what is it you're just going to read something about the different materials